Where are you going? A friend's place. I don't think he's going to a friend's house at all. I think he's running away. Rachel, what are you doing here? Not talking. Just checking that you were real. Real enough for you? Uh, I think I still need convincing. <laughs> I should make my getaway. I don't really want to meet Brooke or Isaac on the way to the shower. No, you're safe. They stayed at Brooke's last night. Well, I don't want to meet Harry or Phoenix over a bowl of cereal either. Is this about not going public now or not going public ever? After last night, you really have to ask? Well, given the number of U-turns you've done lately, yes, I really do. Well, you know how hard I had to fight to kick the booze. What's that got to do with this? I want you. And need you in a way that can feel totally out of control. Just like my addiction did, and that scared me so much that I didn't just U-turn. I drove off in the other direction as fast as I could. And what about now? Are you still scared? Yeah. But this time, it's not going to stop me. I think it's called feeling the fear and doing it anyway. Good. Because this time, I'm not letting you go. The least he could do is tell us where he is or answer our calls. He'll be fine, Mum. Don't worry. Jazz saw him with food. And he has your camping equipment, didn't you say? He might even be heading for the campground. Well, us not going this year is what set him off in the first place. Anything? I saw a couple of his mates outside the shops near home. They reckon they haven't heard from him. But maybe they're in on his act. It's not an act. Evan's got himself into a state and we could have handled it better. We could have, or I could have. Can we save the family scene? Honestly, this is why he bolted. He wants attention. This is not some hissy fit that Ev's thrown this time. Your mother's worried enough. So don't you start giving her grief too. I'm driving up to the campground to have a proper look. Are you coming? Let's search around here first. Talk to a few more of his mates. He won't have gone far. Once this gets around the campground, he won't dare show his face there. Sorry. Bad joke. Very bad. Today's the music. ZM. Good morning, night owl. What time did you roll in? Oh, late. I uh, I got caught up with a budget review. Oh, you poor thing. Oh, hey, um, did Dad catch you on your mobile? He phoned here. I just figured that you were at work. I didn't want any distractions with all that number crunching, so I uh, put my phone on silent. How do you get away with it? With what? Looking as fresh as you do after a night of hard slog. I'm sure it'll catch up with me this afternoon. I'm sure Dad will catch up with you too. He says he misses us, but he's channeling it into buying us Christmas presents. I hope he doesn't go too overboard. I bet he does. Dad loves Christmas, and... I'm actually really looking forward to it too, now that everything's clearer. You know, with Kieran and all that. <laughs> he hasn't said anything to me. Hunt, this isn't about being loyal to your mates. Even if you promised Evan you'd keep it I a secret. I told you I don't know where he's gone. It's not like he's my best friend. But you're closer to him than we are, though. Can you think of anything, anywhere he might be? Have you checked his My Life page? What Bella has access to, there's nothing useful on there. Just a bunch of brats cheering him on. He doesn't seem to have made contact with any of them. Not that we can see on his page, anyway. And have you called Josh? Yes. Matt? Damien? Wait, who's Damien? You might not know him. He only started last term. He lives by Fox Beach. His parents run the dairy there. Oh, I know the place. Have you got a contact phone number? Thanks for this, and sorry for bothering you. It's no bother at all. I just hope you guys find him soon. Yeah. 
So, you seriously don't know where he is? No, I've told you a million times. What? At least I'm trying to find out. This isn't a joke, not for Murray and Wendy. Okay, just like it wasn't a joke for Vasa when he ran away. Where are you going? Out. Eamon's not the smartest guy, so he can't be that hard to find. I was thinking about renaming this place once I'm the official owner. Half owner. Don't interrupt me. I think Brody's Bar has a really nice ring to it. Hardly. It's just like some dodgy Irish pub. Besides, <laughs> how would Murray feel about that? Ah, Murray's a backroom kind of guy. This place needs somebody young and irresistible out front. Mm. Good call. Who are you going to get? Aha. Uh -huh. Hey, no throwing things at the customers. You can make up your own rules once we've signed the final paperwork. Ah, and that will happen as soon as Murray is back from looking under bridges. Even stun a runner. Oh. Well, don't worry, he's still good for the cash. Same with me. More so. In fact, Julie has hooked me up with 40. Huh. And I only need to spend about a quarter of that to match Murray's deposit. Your sister trusts you with another 30 Gs in your bank account. Yeah, it's about contingency. It's all about contingency, man. And when can I expect to see all this money? Well, I emailed the documents through to Julie yesterday, and she said that she'll put the money in once she's read them. By now, she's probably sitting in some far inferior London pub, raising a glass of warm, flat beer, toasting her brother's success. Well, amen. And then I can drink a toast to finally moving on. Hey, once that money's in, you should get a printout of that balance and frame it. <laughs> because you won't see your contingency for dust once the bills start rolling in. Man, listen to the prophet of doom over here. This place is going to be my ticket to the top. Just you wait and see. Evan Cooper's run away from home. Hey, everyone's talking about it. Apparently he just flipped out and gapped it over a camping trip. Oh, he's a bit old to be throwing tanties, isn't he? That's Evan. Jasmine says the parents are really worried, though. Oh, fair enough. Tell someone if you hear from him, OK? Of course. Right, I'm off. You all right by yourself today? I'm going to check out some of the skate parks, see if I can find any runaways. Good plan. Drop it! Are you mental? No, just hungry. All this flipping and gapping really wakes up an appetite. Where have you been? Jasmine says your old is going mental. Doubt it. Dad's probably glad I'm gone, if he's even realised. Can I have some pack of noodles and some tin food? Why? How long are you planning on staying away from home? Hey, what's up? What are you doing here? I thought you might have heard from Evan. He's too much of a sook to keep quiet for long. Doubt it. Don't use me as an excuse to visit your boyfriend. I knew you'd be here. You're in so much trouble. This bar's way cooler than apartments. Yeah, well, some other bird got in first. Jules, you said you were in. I am responsible. No, there was an old party animal me. There is no way that my partner would let me drink away the profits. He knows what he's doing. Yeah, a service station before this? Well, no, no, it didn't go bust per se, but he decided to move on. And he's been in hospital for years, so he is a pro. And he is a family man. So if you don't think I have enough reason to make this work, he certainly does. But, no, Jules, you... No, I don't understand. So thanks for nothing. Tell me that wasn't what it sounded like. Dad got to her first. Under no circumstances are you to bankroll Brody. She said she'd give you the money. <laughs> yeah, for bricks and mortar, not for a bar. Man, your dad is going to use me for a dartboard when I tell him. Today he might. Even sure booked a good time to go AWOL. Don't even mention middle child syndrome. It's not that. My parents just don't care. They so do. You should have seen them this morning. I bet Dad was yelling and stuff. And Mum was quiet, looking upset. Yeah. That's the way they play. If I'm not around, Dad has to find someone else to get stuck into every time he's stressed out. I'm sick and tired of him pushing me around. If this is going on, then why didn't your mum do anything about it? She's too stressed about work and money to realise how much she actually hates me. She thinks I'm just doing this silly teenage thing. Aren't you? No. I had to get out. Dad's all stressed about buying the bar and stuff. And since I'm the son, I'm the one who takes it out on. Takes what out on? It doesn't matter. I know I'm new to having a dad, but I doubt he does it on purpose. Why not? Not everyone has a dad like Chris or Maxwell. 
Maybe he even needs to show them that he's not going to be pushed around. He can't stay here. That's cool. I don't need to. All I need is food and money. This is all I've got. You're cooler than I thought. Tell us where you're going. What for? So you can tell my olds. <laughs> Doubt it. I text them I'm okay. That's all they need to know. What did you give him money for? I know how he feels. Me and Mum used to live with this guy, Travis, who hated me and hit my mum. She only did something about it when I ran away. And so, result. You have something to run to. It's obvious he's got no clue where he's going. Mum and Dad just pulled up. Don't tell them anything. The sooner that the bar is gone, the better. You know, I just want to move on with life. A new year, a new start. Oh, and then there's me. Oh, yeah, and it's almost the holidays. I think I just want to... You know, relax and swim and read and veg out, especially since this year Dad's gone all out with the batch by the beach and the gourmet kitchen, of course. He's already ordered all this fancy food to be delivered. Well, maybe I should ditch TK. Come spend Christmas with you. Well, yeah, it's what I thought you'd be doing. You have to, otherwise it'll just be us watching Dad and Rachel all over each other. Oh, gross. Eh, yeah, we're used to it, but you know, absence does make the heart grow fonder. Are you sure you can handle it? Well, if I'm with you, <laughs> maybe we can even give them a run for their money. We could try, but believe me, they'll win. <laughs> that is on me. What's the catch? Oh, there's no catch. Just an open ear to the offer of a lifetime. How would you like to be the very first IV VIP? First to what? A VIP over at the IV bar. See, with Muzzer and I running the show, it is going to become Ferndale's hottest new venue. Oh. So, what does a VIP get for their money? A dedicated bar stool, uh, an engraved beer mug? Why not? And uh, free snacks with beverage purchases? Mm, I'm listening. Well, as my two favourite customers, buy and sits at a very low five. Hundred. Thousand. <laughs> <laughs> this is us investing in something, isn't it? No, no, not as such. I'm, I'm just a little low on startup costs. So, you go to the bank. Well, apparently you need money in the bank to borrow money. Then cut your losses. Look, I know people who've owned bars before and they're frequently one big headache. I think Brody's discovering that for himself. Incidentally, that's a no from me too. Fine. Well, you guys remember this when you're drinking out of your normal boring <laughs> beer mugs. Have you called Callum yet? Can you keep your voice down? And hello to you too. I've just finished hearing about the Mackay family holiday plans, which still seem to include you. I know I've given you plenty of reasons to doubt me, but I will break it off with Callum. I'm just waiting for the right time. Call him. At the very least, forewarn him. Would you like a cup of tea? No, thanks. You made tracks around here pretty quick, getting your story straight. Murray. I wondered if Phoenix knew anything about Evan taking off. He doesn't. Sorry. Damien doesn't either. Guts. We're starting to worry he might have gone further afield on the bus or even hitching, God forbid. We can't rule it out, given our brain dead this stunt is. You could at least try to sound worried. Of course I have it. But things have been a bit rough lately, but we'll sort it out. We just need to know he's safe. He's probably just hiding out somewhere, you know, to make a point. If you know something, please tell us. We just want him home. I might have an idea where he is. Actually, me too. He's been talking about this new skate park in West Ferndale. Apparently it's mean as heaps of ramps and bowls. Maybe he went to check it out. I tried past the workshop a while back. Evan's pretty good at spinning a yarn, but there are two sides to every story. We love him and we want him back. No matter what he's told you. <sighs> I thought you were going to blab for a second there. I was. Cheers, guys. If you heard any of that, you know your parents have packed themselves over this. You might believe them, but I don't. I know what they're really like. Your mum was trying not to cry the entire time they were here. She'll get over it. Laters. Ah, don't tell me. You've thought about it and have decided to invest after all. Actually, I came to see if there's any weird on even. No, Murray's still out looking. Yeah, he's had a bad run. At least take the news your deposit fell through. Actually, I haven't told him yet. Tell me this isn't your plan B. 
Well, I, I figured I could sell my guitar and max out my credit cards and it'd get a decent bet together. Ha, hey, you're a gambler, man. What would give me the best odds? That. Hey! Not saying you'd be further from that deposit than when you started. Some punters get lucky. Well, once in a blue moon, yeah. The unlucky ones end up at a pawn shop trying to get five bucks for their shoes. So, what's plan C? Sort an ad for a finance company. Oh, don't be daft. The interest rates are cutthroat, no matter how many footy players tell you otherwise. Hey, still my sign? Wendy thinks we should call the cops. I'm still hoping you'll man up and come home before we have to. Hey, hang in there, mate. Hey, uh, Murray, um, this, this is going to seem like a really bad timing. What uh, now? My, uh, my sister's decided not to give me the money. My kid leaves home over this bar, and now you're telling me it was all for nothing. No, no, I, I will find the money somewhere, I, I promise. Too right. Phone Daddy. From what Bella says, he's rolling in it. Uh, actually, it was him that told Jules not to give me the money. Look, my family's future is riding on this. So get on the blower, convince your father you're good for a loan. If that doesn't work, beg. Callum, we need to talk. Something's happened. No, no, they're both fine. No, it's not about the apartments. The lawyers have your papers, it's all sorted. Actually, that's something else we need to talk about. Okay, do you have five minutes before they collect you? <sighs> There's not really a short version. It's, it's fine, it can wait. Save the sweet talk, there are people waiting for you. Bye. Kim said you said no. Uh, I didn't ask him. I couldn't. Not once he put on his favourite record. Hey? Yeah, it's a broken one. It's called My Son, the Med School Dropout. Bummer. Yeah, and then there's why don't you just buy 10 grand worth of booze and pour it down the sink yourself? It may not seem so now, but this might not be such a bad thing. Hey? Well, getting a loan to put a deposit on a bar doesn't exactly make good business sense. You're giving me a lecture on good business sense. <laughs> what would you know? Well, more than you, obviously. What happens if the bar has a bad week and you can't make a repayment? Are you going to sell your guitar, your wheels? If I have to. And when they're gone and the bills keep on piling up and there's another repayment due, what do you think the bank are going to say? Oh, don't worry about it. Take a week off. You no, know, things are packet, man. I would have thought you at least would have understood how much I want this. I do see how much you want this. Too much to think straight. And if you ask me, you've had a lucky escape. It sucks, mate, I know. But you'll see. Hi. Hi. Heard anything from Evan? I thought he might call me, even if he didn't want to speak to Mum and Dad, but he hasn't. Try not to freak out. Maybe he's okay. Mum and Dad are really stressing now. It's not like things were great before Evan took off. Between him and your dad? They've always pushed each other's buttons. Is your dad really hard on Evan? Like, does he pick on him more than you? No. Why? Has Evan said something? Not to us. Did he? I'm going to keep looking. Good one. I just want to know if he's telling the truth. And I'm pretty sure he's not. But we need to tell his folks who've seen him. We already told them we haven't. So we tell them we lied. Fine for you. You weren't the one that locked their daughter in a cupboard. You weren't there when Evan fell out of a tree. This isn't about you or me. They didn't know he's Shh. safe. You haven't seen Jasmine, have you? Um, you just missed her. Oh, unbelievable. Her father and I worried enough without her going missing too. I got a text from Evan. When? About half an hour ago. Well, where is he? What did it say? Can I see it? I accidentally deleted it, sorry. It was short, but at least this means his phone's on.
fancy seeing you here. Actually, I shouldn't be. I'm due at a meeting on a different floor. <laughs> um, before you go, there's an issue with the theatre lights. Well, what's wrong with them? They've only just been upgraded. Oh, yeah. So they have. <sighs> I called Callum, but I didn't tell him. What happened to feeling the fear and doing it anyway? Well, I was going to, but he was busy, and then I thought, there's no point in spoiling his trip. I should end this face-to-face. -face. That's the right thing to do. And what happens when Callum is right in front of you, and surprise, surprise, you can't tell him, just like last time? That's not going to happen. And in case you've forgotten last night, I think we're a bit late for that. But I don't want to tell him knowing I've already been lying and sneaking around. In case you've forgotten last night, we're a bit late for that. So that's a no to staying over again. He'll be back soon. I'm not asking you to wait long. I guess it's just like Christmas. Waiting is part of the fun. And this is a standard repayment schedule. Take your time to read the fine print. We want to be absolutely sure you're happy with the conditions of the loan. <laughs> I don't know how happy I am with paying 30% interest. And it's compound interest, right? Plus fees. For a high-risk loan, we need to set a high interest rate. Considering that you have a limited credit history, no assets and no guarantor, this offer is competitive and instant. The money would be in your account first thing tomorrow. But if you'd prefer to approach a bank instead... Look, I'm going to have to find another way. Well, good luck with that. Yeah, I'm really sorry for wasting your time. Hey, gorgeous, have you, have you heard anything about Evan? Nada, and you're not helping Dad's stress levels. He said you walked out earlier, does that mean you can't get the money? Well, um... Well, Dad said that since you signed those papers. If you don't go through with this, so if he has the right to keep all the money Dad's given her. Hey, you just wait a minute. Um, I actually, I forgot something. Well, tell your dad that he can relax about the money anyway. My dad's agreed to put up the cash. Don't know why I didn't ask him sooner. Yeah, that's his account, and we're just going over the details now. Oh! My boyfriend, the bar owner, how sick are you? Well, I'm just grabbing a muffin, so I won't hold you up. Right, well, we'll, we'll catch up later. Let's celebrate, huh? Let me guess, you've changed your mind? You, uh, got a pin? Driven by greed. Our career's on the line. His worst fear. It's not gonna happen, it wouldn't be safe. He's insane. Would now be a reality. Shortland Street, 7 o'clock tomorrow. TV2.